Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Path of the Bee style cutout frames. Let's get started. Okay, so here's my plans. I'll show more of this at the end. Okay, so I begin by rough, rough cutting my stock. Um, this piece I'm going to cut to 16 and a half inches. This one is 17 and 3 quarters. And this one is 19 and 1 quarter. Alright, now I'm going to surface my pieces. Uh, the, this piece here for my sidebars, I will surface down to 11 sixteenths of an inch. And the other two, I'll take all the way down to 1 half. Alright, now I'm just going to uh, joint an edge in preparation for squaring the ends up. Okay, here I'm just ripping my uh, sidebar piece parallel, which is important for my next operation. I'm going to trim it to 16 and 1 8 of an inch. Okay, now I take a 3 16 of an inch cut with the joiner. Um, in the two face in the one face on both sides if you don't have a joiner to perform this operation um, you can go ahead and surface this stock to half an inch thick and then just glue a little shim on a 3 16 shim on for your B space on your sidebar it's an extra step this works better for me Okay, now I'm going to rip this or cross cut this exactly into half, two eight inch pieces. Now I'm going to trim, uh, finish trimming our top bars and, and uh, bottom bars, seventeen and a half and nineteen inches. Okay, now I've just set the table saw up to rip exactly a half inch wide, and we'll just saw all of our pieces out. To make a frame, you need four of these little side bars and two of the tops and two bottoms. Okay, so now that I have all my pieces cut, I'm going to go ahead and put them in my jig here. And this jig just simply has blocks placed uh, to hold my pieces while I nail them. I'll make another video this winter about how I actually made this jig. So the first thing I do is I take the bottom, the shorter of the pieces, I set them down here. Put my side bars in, and then I place my top bar up here. This is going to stick up a little bit where we have our, our side of our bar to maintain B space. I'll just hold it in place while I stand this up and uh, put an inch and a quarter nail straight down into this. I'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, now I'm going to remove this top, <clears throat> move the bottom, put 
put the top in the bottom and then I can nail the bottom on. Now this side is done of the frame. I'll assemble the second one and I'll have a complete uh, wood part of the frame put together. Okay, so the next part here on my jig, I have these little red marks um, every so often and they indicate where I need to string my line through. I use these half inch by 19 nails and I just, I just start them out here. I don't drive them all the way in. And this is how I zigzag my fishing line onto the frame. And I use probably 10 pound test fishing line or whatever I can find. Remember, don't drive these all the way in yet. They need to stick up. Okay, so I grab my trusty fishing line here and uh, just grab the end and where I start here on this edge, I wrap it around about four or five times, hold both ends, set the nail. Then as I pull the line out, I make a double loop around each, na each nail and pull some tension on it. You can pull this too tight, so you don't want to you're not making a musical instrument. You just want it good and snug. There, we're playing the banjo. And then once again, the last one I wrap about four times. Hold it up and we'll sink it. Okay, and then we'll just clip the ends of the line and we've got a half of a cutout frame put together. Okay, and then the last thing that we need to do with our two halves is to hinge the bottom and put some nails in the top to hold it together when we close it. So. We're going to just, I'm just today using anything for a hinge. I've, I found some milk carton paper. Um, a lot of times I'll use that white vinyl that is used in like refrigerators at the grocery store. Heavy white vinyl, that works great. A couple of staples and I have a hinge. Okay, and then the trick to this is when these are closed, to stay closed. And so what I do is I use some 7 8 inch nails and I drive two of them in um, and then I pull, the, I pull it back apart. So I put a nail in and then I, I pull the frame back apart. So it's already got the hole in the right spot. And uh, then when I need to close the frame up, I can just line up the holes and squish it together and it stays stuck. So that's how they're made. Um, I'd put another nail in down here, keep everything lined up, 
And uh, I hope that works for you. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments about my cutout frame, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed.